I want to talk a little bit about invasive species because I've encountered here along the boardwalk in Monroe Street, Savannah, three of the most common invasive shrubs that we have in Wisconsin. It's the glossy buckthorn, Frangula ulnus, Lonicera expella, the European honeysuckle, and way over here, if I can reach it with my handy stick, the European or common buckthorn, Ramnus cathartica. Now, all of these three species differ a bit ecologically, and I've provided some notes for you so you can work on identifying them. But I'll just give you a few hints. Glossy buckthorn has alternate leaves and red berries becoming black, and it really prefers wet sites, particularly invasive around the Great Lakes. The glossy buckthorn, I'm sorry, the uh, common buckthorn by contrast, this one here, Ramnus cathartica, is an extremely shade tolerant and ingress aggressive invader that is um, highly tolerant of many different types of sites. You can see here it is growing almost with its feet wet, but you'll find it in deep shade of uh, Wisconsin forests all around southern Wisconsin. So it has a very broad tolerance. The berries, in contrast to being red, are black. They develop to black. They grow tightly clustered along the stem and the leaves are opposite, not alternate. It's called buckthorn because at the ends of the branches, there's a little sharp thorn. Lastly, the European honeysuckle. Lonicera expella, X meaning it is a hybrid species introduced for as an ornamental and also um, actually to feed wildlife, even though the berries um, are not particularly nutritious, they're widely dispersed by birds. The European honeysuckle also has opposite leaves. They look somewhat dull and leathery. The shrub itself is very sticky and messy in appearance and it is shade intolerant. So while it is highly invasive, it tends to colonize more along forest edges, field edges, yards and waste places, whereas the uh, common buckthorn is more shade tolerant. You'll find it far into the interior of forests. Note that on the honeysuckle, the berries are bright red, often born in pairs. So those are three extremely common and important exotic shrubs that are invasive in Wisconsin. Take some time to learn to distinguish them.